Welcome back guys to another video and today we're going to show you how you can step by step export your Coinly data, all the transactions, the CSV file and then later on import that into coin tracking if you want to use our software. It is very easy and you can do that in a few steps but one thing I advise you in advance is that we always recommend putting the data freshly into the account and not working with old data from other platform providers because there might be some errors. Simply go into coin tracking and then use our API importers or the CSV importers to have the correct data in your account. But I will also show you how to export the data from Coinly and then get into coin tracking if you really want to. Let's go into Coinly and we are here in our dashboard and we see we have 184 euros. And then let's navigate to transactions. In the transactions tab, we have to click the three dots on the right side and then we can export our transactions. Here we can download all the transactions. You can download the selected transactions if you want to edit them in Excel. Once you're done, you can import your changes back into Coinly by uploading them here. We will just simply export from Coinly and then go to coin tracking. So let's download the transactions. Once you have downloaded your CSV file from Coinly, then we have to convert it into an XLS file so we can work with the data in Excel. I've done that, just simply choose any online converter of your choice and then we will go back into our download folder and first we have to download our template from coin tracking for the Excel spreadsheet. So simply go to coin tracking, that's our dashboard, uh, our main page and then go to enter coins, bulk import and then Excel import. Here if you scroll down you can download our coin tracking Excel import template which we will use to import the data into coin tracking. So we simply will copy and paste data from Coinly into our spreadsheet. Let's go to our download partner and look at the two or three spreadsheets we actually have. First we have the transaction.csv file which is from Coinly, then we have the coin tracking template and then we have the tr uh, transaction underscore one XLS file, which is the converted file from our online converter. So this one, the original one, this one, the converted one. The original one is actually not necessary anymore, so we can delete that and we work with two files now. All right, on the right side, we have the Coinly spreadsheet, on the left side, the coin tracking one. And now we can simply copy and paste our values which we need. We need the ID, the date, the type, the wallet name address, then how much that wallet has sent out and then to where. So again, the exchange name and then how much the exchange name or the wallet actually received. And then of well, as well, the fee amount and the fee currency. These are all the values we have to copy and paste from Coinly into our spreadsheet. So let's start with that. We start with the ID, the trade ID, uh, which will be as well, simply the transaction ID and coin tracking then follow with the date. The date can be pasted into the date column right here on the left. All right, then we can copy the transaction type names. Now you have to go back and remember how we spell the transaction names in coin tracking. We do that deposit has to be spelled with a capital D. So we just find and select replace, and then take deposit and go to deposit, replace them all. Then we do the same thing for withdrawal. And the same thing with trade. All right, now all that is fixed with the names. Now we can continue with the wallet name, we simply copy that and paste that into exchange name. But then there's also, that needs to go one below. But there's also a name for the wallet of the receiving wallet. So we will have to copy that too. And then let's just copy it by, by the next column and then move it into the exchange name where it is missing. You have to take particular care that you do that correctly with the exchanges otherwise you're gonna have some yeah, disbalances in the balance by exchange side so to avoid that take a very careful view on the exchange names all right but since we only use metamask in this case this is all the metamask wallet so it's fine all right now we have to go to deposit and we send we got money deposited, so the two amount is actually the positive side. 
So we have to get that onto the buy account side in coin tracking. And then the from is the withdrawal side. So we, that's the sell side in coin tracking. And then the fees are up here. So we copy that into here. And do we have something missing? No, you can also uh, add some comments to the transactions if you have something to note there. But this looks pretty much all we have to do. Now we only have to save the file and upload it into coin tracking. Go back to the previous site where we downloaded the template and choose the file. Now we choose the coin tracking file and open that and click continue to import. And voila, we see we have a successful uh, or good created Excel spreadsheet with no errors in it and we can proceed with the import. Coin tracking will confirm with a big green box that our Excel import has been done correctly. And if we go to enter coins, we will see that we have all our MetaMask transaction in here. Now, if you want to create your tax report, then you have to recalculate your trades. So your portfolio is on the most recent update with the new uh, transactions. And then we can go into the tax report and generate our tax report. To generate our tax report, we simply go to tax report and click tax report. Now we are in the crypto tax report site where we can generate our tax report. But before we have to set up the tax report with some options and settings. So for the country, we select our country, in our case it's Germany, but there's a variety you can choose from. Then for the tax method, we use first in first out, but again, there are a lot of tax options you can choose from and depending on your situation, choose the right taxation method. Then for the tax year, we use 23 as our tax year, but again, depending on your trading behavior, there will be many different years uh, to choose from and depending on your need, generate the tax year you need. Then for the filters, you can include and exclude specific transaction types if you want to. Then previous trades, consider all previous trades in the report. This is an option you should leave on. Then you can use the deposit separation tax slots if you want to or not. And you can group all purchases by day and group all search by day. If you have a lot of transactions in your account, this will speed up the generation process of the tax report. Once all done and you have your settings in, we can generate a new tax report. Once you have generated new tax report, you will see in the bottom the total capital gains and the year of the taxation, the taxation method. And if you want to see more information about your tax report, simply click load report. This is a much more detailed view of the report. And once it's loaded up, we will see all the details about the report. The details have loaded and now we can see how much capital gains we had, how much income we had. And if you scroll down, you will see even more details line by line, transaction by transaction, what you exactly did, how much you profited off it or lost on it. We see the income, we see the gift donations, the fee report, the lost and stolen, the closing positions. We have everything in this report. And if you need to submit your report, then simply scroll up and go to download in this report and then simply click download PDF or download Excel and then you can submit it or give it to your CPA and move from there on. We hope this video was helpful to you and if there are any open questions, please leave them down in the comments and we will happily answer all the comments for you. We wish you happy trading and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.